Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here. And in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you what a cryptocurrency wallet is in simple terms. So simple that even your grandmother could understand what I'm about to lay down in this video. We're also gonna go ahead and set up a cryptocurrency wallet so you can see how that process goes and like what, what it involves and I kind of piece some things together for you um, as we go through that section. So you, you know what a debit card is, right? Like you have a debit card and it's connected to your bank account. You go, you swipe this debit card and it takes money out of your bank account, right? That everyone knows how that works, right? Now I can take this debit card and I can stick it in my pocket. And you know, when I need to pay for something, I pull it out of my pocket and I swipe it. And you know, I, I buy whatever it is I'm trying to buy. Alternatively, you know, I could store my debit card inside of a, an actual wallet like this. And I could store this wallet in my pocket or wherever I want to store it and you know but it's still the same debit card like it's it's not not different because it's in this wallet versus my pocket right or I could go ahead and you know put my debit card on my my phone here and then just use Apple Pay instead of using my debit card altogether. However, it's still the same debit card. It's still gonna hit the same bank account, uh, same information, you know, gets transacted and my dollars come out of my bank account, right? So no matter where I store this debit card, like it's the same it's still connected to the same account, right? If I have it in my pocket, if I have it in my wallet, if I have it on my phone, it's still the same debit card. And you know, this debit card is unique to me, right? Because it has a, a, a number on the back, right? A credit card number, debit card number. Uh, it's got, you know, three digits on the back as well, CVC code. Um, it's got expiration date, right? That's kind of unique to this card. It has my zip code connected to it as well. So there's several different ways to kind of make this card mine. So that way the system knows that this is this is my card and if I swipe it, it's gonna charge this bank account over here. So the same concept applies with cryptocurrency, okay? Um, instead of though of having a bank account over at a bank, your funds and everything are stored in the cloud and that cloud is called a blockchain. So the blockchain is actually what holds your money. It holds information about your account um, and that's, that's what you connect to through various crypto wallets, you connect to that same blockchain and you can pull your information down about your account. So it doesn't matter if you're using like a, a mobile wallet, like we're about to set up in this video or a hardware wallet. Like if you have the unique information about your account and that is called your private keys and you generate those with a recovery phrase and we'll get into that when we set up the wallet together. But basically your private keys are unique to you. That's what tells the wallets, whether it's your a, a mobile wallet, a software wallet, a hardware wallet, whatever type of wallet, again, it doesn't, doesn't matter. They all connect to the same blockchain the same account up in the cloud, and it knows it's you based off of your private keys, which are generated from a recovery phrase, which we'll talk about when we set up the wallet. So just to recap, your debit card is connected to your bank account based off of the debit card information on the back. So your debit card number, your expiration date, your CVC, your zip code, etc. Whereas with crypto, your, your banking information, your crypto information is stored on the blockchain and that's connected to you based off of your private keys. So just like you never wanna give out your credit card information, you never wanna give out your private key information, okay? It's the same type of concept. And so hopefully that helps you understand the big picture. Now we're gonna head over to my mobile device here and set up a wallet together. Alrighty, so as I just explained, I can put this debit card, you know, anywhere. It still contains the same information. I could put it in my pocket. I could put it in a wallet. I could store it on my iPhone. It doesn't matter. It's the same information. It still connects to the same bank account. Same concept holds true with these crypto wallets. They're still connecting to the same blockchains. And as long as you give it the same private key information, it's going to connect to the same account on the blockchain. So it doesn't really matter what wallet you use. They all connect to the same blockchain. And if you give it the right account information, it's gonna to connect to that account. So that, you know, gives you a lot of options and I'm gonna walk you through my my preferred wallet, but other wallets have different options. They integrate with different platforms and like, for example, some integrate with decentralized exchanges where you can go ahead and swap currencies. Others integrate with gambling websites if you're interested in that. So there's a bunch of different options out here. The, the main point is it doesn't really matter because they all connect to the same blockchains. So you can use different wallets to access the same exact account. That, that's what I'm trying to say here. Now, just a few, there's Coinbase wallet here. Uh, coming on down here, there's Exodus wallet, which is quite popular. They got some cool apps going on here. Uh, coming on down here, there's Trust Wallet, which is the one we're going to be using in this video. 
I like this one because you can connect to multiple wallets very easily, as I'll show you uh, in this video. But the Trust Wallet is my preferred one. And if you're just getting started here, that's what I recommend going with. Atomic Wallet's also pretty popular and so on. So there's there's a whole bunch of different wallets. Um, you can go ahead and you know try them out. Now, of course, I do recommend doing some research on these wallets because if they contain malware or have like a bug in them or something like that, somebody could get your private key information and therefore they would have access to your cryptocurrency account and they could drain your funds. So you wanted to choose a a wallet here that that is well established reputable etc trust wallet is that coinbase wallet is that and exodus wallet is also very good like i would not scroll to the bottom here and pick one random wallet out because who knows it's, it's not worth the risk because if someone gets a hold of your private keys they can access your entire cryptocurrency account and you definitely don't want that to happen so go with the reputable brand again i use trust so we're going to plug into it real quick and so here we are inside of the Trust Wallet and probably the first thing you need to go ahead and do is connect to a blockchain with private keys and or create a new wallet uh, and you can do that easily within this Trust Wallet app. So to do it, I'm gonna go to settings down here in the bottom right hand corner and what we wanna go ahead and do is click on wallets here. And you can see that I have multiple wallets connected to my Trust Wallet currently. I have my main wallet here, which is was generated by the Trust Wallet platform here. I also have a Coinbase wallet and I've connected it to this Trust Wallet. And then I also have a MetaMask wallet, uh, which I've also connected to my Trust Wallet app here. Because like I said, my cryptocurrency is stored on the blockchain. So it doesn't matter like what wallet I'm using. I have three different unique wallets here, but they're all going to the same account because I've used the same private keys to access that account. So what we wanna go ahead and do right now is I'm gonna click this little plus button here to create a new wallet and it's gonna give us some instructions here. So private and secure, private keys never leave your device. So that's good. Anyway, for the sake of this video, we're gonna go ahead and create a new wallet now. So create new wallet and it's gonna say back up your wallet now. And the next step, you will see 12 words that allow you to recover a wallet. So this is very important. These 12 words right here are going to be what you use to generate your private keys. And the private keys again are how you access your cryptocurrency that's stored out on the blockchain. So it's very important that you get these 12 words and you keep them safe somewhere. Don't share them anywhere because again, you don't want to give out this information. Otherwise somebody will be able to access your account and you probably don't want that to happen. So we'll go ahead and understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. Okay, so here we go. Here is our recovery phrase. So write down or copy these words in, in the right order and save them somewhere safe. So here are the 12 words that I have and I'll have most of them blurred out because even though this is a demonstration purposes and I'll delete this wallet afterwards, I just don't want it get, getting out, right? Good practice. But anyway, you'll have these 12 words, write them down with pen, paper, paper, go lock them in a safe somewhere. You don't want anybody getting hold of them because again, you get these out, somebody gets hold of them, they can access your currency. So do not share this, do not give this to anybody. This is private information. And once you have that written down, we wanna come down to continue and then you have to go ahead and verify it. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And just like that, your wallet was successfully created. Okay. So now I can go ahead and receive and send cryptocurrency to this wallet. And so of course, to receive cryptocurrency, I'd go ahead and click on this little receive button here. So let me tap on that real quick. And I can select what type of coin I wanna go ahead and receive. So if I wanted Bitcoin or Ethereum or BNB or Smart Chain to my, my wallet here, I would go ahead and click on that particular coin. So let's go with Bitcoin real quick. And it gives me a QR code. So I could go ahead and scan that QR code to send crypto currency to this wallet or I could go ahead and copy this address right here this is a public address so I could share this wherever I wanted to I could put it on Twitter if I wanted to or Facebook or pass it to whomever I wanted to this address can be given out to anybody that is perfectly fine this this is how people send you cryptocurrency so you can share this public address but you never give out your private key or the recovery phrase which is used to generate your private keys and so that's how you receive cryptocurrency pretty self-explanatory and then of course, if you wanna send cryptocurrency, you click on send here, and then you need cryptocurrency in your wallet, of course. You, you would tap on your, the cryptocurrency and then you'd give it an address to send that cryptocurrency to. So it's pretty self-explanatory once you get into it. Somebody else would give you an address and you would just send it to that address. I wanna cancel out of here and do a quick tour of the Trust app. So the first tab here, we have tokens. And so this gives us a breakdown of all the tokens in our wallet. And let me actually switch to a wallet with some tokens in it. So we have some 
some data, some numbers in here, so it looks a little cooler. So this is my Coinbase wallet. So this is a wallet that I set up with Coinbase. But again, all my information is stored on the blockchain up there, so I can easily pull that information into any wallet I choose. And so right now I have my Coinbase wallet being pulled into my Trust wallet because it's still the same cryptocurrency account up there on the blockchain, right? So there's some more information in here. Um, if we go to finance now, uh, one thing that the Trust Wallet offers is staking of these tokens here. So I'll just tap into one of these tokens here and follow the instructions on the next page. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. Collectible, so if you have any N NFTs, non-fungible tokens, you could go ahead and store them here in your Trust Wallet. Also down here, there's a DEX, so decentralized exchange. So this is used for swapping. So let's say I wanna change my ETH into USDC. I could go ahead and do that right here within the wallet itself. So let's say I wanna change, transfer 100% of my ETH into USDC. Um, so that's what I would go ahead and get if I went down here and I click the swap button. So that makes it very easy to go ahead and swap cryptocurrencies right there within your wallet. There's also an exchange here so you can see like the prices and all that stuff. And you can also buy from within the trust wallet if that is something that you want to go ahead and do. Again, different wallets have different features. These are just some of the features Trust Wallet offers. So I just want to do a quick overview of them since we're in this app already. But again, the main thing I like about the Trust Wallet here is that it's very easy to add other wallets. As long as you have that recovery phrase, you can come in here, hit the plus button, say, I already have a wallet. You can do multi-coin wallet, and then you plug in your recovery phrase, so the 12 words, or it could be 24 words. You can go ahead and plug them in here, and it would automatically connect to your cryptocurrency account out there on the blockchain, pull in that information, and you could go ahead and transact with those coins that you have out there on the blockchain. Even though you set up that information over on some other wallet, for example, Coinbase or MetaMask or something like that, it's all the same account. It's all on the same blockchain. So anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out. I try to keep it as simple as humanly possible. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.